Evgenia, this is so boring event. This is none of our business, as long as the clients enjoy it. Go fetch some champagne for the guests, or everyone will die of bored heart. Who's that? This is Deputy Gorski. And I think that's Vadim Safrono with him. Go fetch some champagne for the guests, or everyone will die of boredom here. You bastard! It's been a long time since a beautiful woman spilled champagne all over me. Drowning you wouldn't be enough. To drown? Madame Dolinska, what was that? No comments. It's okay. Natalie, you saved me as always. Watch and learn, baby, while you still can. Everyone almost fell asleep until you came. And then bam, and it's all over the internet. The client will be happy. So who is the genius pair girl here? Well... Hey, did you spill champagne on someone famous? This Vadim Safronov. Who is he? Zhenya, you serious? Who's he? Bastard, who left me without a coat desert house. My sugar daddy had a heart attack, remember? Well, I thought that was it. I picked myself a suit, Sicilian widow style. Lace, corsets... Natalie, get to the point. Well, this Vadim Safronov saved my sugar daddy. He personally operated on him. He is like a genius cardiac surgeon. He also opened his clinic and called it Safronia in his honor. Now that is some peacock. Natalia, I don't get why you're upset. The Code Desert house is still yours, your sugar daddy is your husband. For now. He's got a second wind after the surgery. And a little birdie told me that he's looking for a younger wife. This is what you get for giving away your best years. So in the situation with Safronov, I mixed business with pleasure. I would never have thought that this playboy was a doctor. <laughs> Men without heart. Emilia, darling, if you want to leave, I will totally understand. Vadim has sent some message again that he is busy once again, that he has some kind of meeting. You look wonderful, darling, and beautiful as always. Good evening. You've gained weight. Looks good on you. Let me introduce you, Emilia Kolubova, daughter of our new conductor. So nice to meet you. Likewise, I'll get something to eat. Get a caviar canapé. I hope champagne is good here. I hope so, too. This girl is a real fairy. Well-mannered. Fifth generation aristocrat. I will soon be able to call her my daughter. Good choice. I don't think Vadim will resist for too long. <laughs> and how is your Stasik doing? Still runs around with the ball? He does. He earns millions. We don't interfere with our son's choice. Neither personal nor professional. Champagne? Who serves champagne on the left, young man? You're at the opera, not an inn. Let me have some. Thank you. Here you go. Well, to a nice evening. Oh, I hope so. Good evening, Sofia Polonska. Yes, I am a big fan of yours. Can I have a picture with you? All right. Godness, her pomposeness is so exhausting. Does she care what size she offered champagne from? But the girl is nice. Our Stanislav needs one like her. But he fools around with that Zhenya. Well, if that bothers you so much, 
Do something about it. I'm doing. Here. Yes, boss. How many are posts? And the brand mentions? Awesome. Yeah, Natalie is my doing. No complaints for Safronov? Perfect. Waiting for the bonus for your favorite employee. I'm on vacation as of today, by the way. Tough day ahead, Vadim Nikolaevich. It always is. Thanks. This is too much. Well, you opened up earlier. You're so bohemian in the morning. It's genetics, my love. Zhenya. A beautiful girl like you must wake up only with me. I hope you won't reject the football's rising star, the honor. What? You don't like it? I do. Very much. It's the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Yes. Yes, I will marry you. And? Okay, we need to take a selfie. Shooting. Are they out of their minds? It's 7 a.m. It's probably neighbors. I'll take care of it. Kid, are you sick? Do you need help? No. Are you Zhenya? I'm Lyova. We need to talk. Kid, now it's not a good time. You don't recognize me. You haven't felt anything. Is this some kind of prank? No, I don't recognize you and I haven't felt anything. I don't know any kids. I'm your son. Женя, who is it?
Okay. Now tell those who sent you that they are too late. Stanislav has already proposed to me. Now go. Who was it? The kid next door forgot his backpack. Now he is asking me to give him a lift. Wait for me downstairs, Lenya. Call him a cab. We need to go to my parents. Today? Of course. You said yes. We need to tell them. Okay, I'll drive him and be right back. All right. I'm going to my training. Gained a few pounds during the camp. Go take a shower. I'll prepare everything. Okay. Wait for me outside. Lenochka boss will be here any minute, and you are doing a makeup. You said the boss likes beautiful woman. As a woman, I understand you, of course. But as a colleague, I must warn you, he is not the kind of man interested in nurses. Well, who is he into? Good morning, Vadim Nikolaevich. Good morning. Good morning, Svetlana Ivanovna, Lenochka. So, uh, I need medical records of everyone who has an appointment today on my table. Lenochka, drop by my office and get me some coffee. Here, drink this. Heat up yourself this syrniki in 20 minutes. They are in the fridge. And this is what you wear after the gym. Take a banana and the protein shake to the gym with you. They are on the fridge on the second shelf. Oh, and don't forget to drink your medicine for your heart muscle. You're so sexy when you're being no-nonsense. Let the kid walk. You can do that if you intend to do cardio. It's too much float. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. okay. Here you go. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? You can. Button up. And remove that bright lipstick. Lena, I hope I won't have to remind you of subordination and inappropriacy of flirting at work. Vadim Nikolaevich, that's not what I meant. I would like to order the bouquet. I need something stylish and laconic. I'll come by in an hour. Thanks. Was it Stanislav Khodkevich, the goal scorer? Is he your fiancé? Did he give that to you? Get in. I bought it myself. I work a lot, you know. Back up. I only rode in a taxi with my mom before, and it was only a couple times. Ah, oh, so you have another mom. And that's who I'm gonna talk to. Please don't! She doesn't know I came here. She will. It's either your mom or the police. Your choice, prankster. Why the police? I'll tell them you blackmailed me and they'll arrest you. So, is it mom? Don't start crying. I was kidding about the police. We'll go to your mom, and I'll talk to her. Tell me the address. Salutna Street. Building? You don't have any more kids. I don't have any kids. Mom, hi. Me and Jenka will come for dinner today. We need to talk. Not on the phone. I don't care. Cook what you want, Mom. I'm not hungry. I had breakfast. Okay, bye. 
Hey, hey. You are so beautiful. Stop it. Tell me. Is your husband pampering you, right? When did we last see each other? Six months ago? Something like that, yes? Well, sure. So happy that you've forgotten about your friend. Actually, I got divorced two months ago and moved back to my father. Now I'm coming to my senses. Started seeing people at least. That's something. And recently I was given Sofia Safronova as a mother-in-law. Do you know her? Sofia, Sofia, former opera prima. Her son is a cardiac surgeon. That's it. Vadim Safronov. That's right. It was him who brought my grandpa back to life. My gramps had two heart attacks, you know? That Vadim is alright. He's cute. Yeah? I haven't seen him yet, to be honest. Talking about men. Are you still into your footballer? That nuts. And you haven't done anything to get closer to him? Well, we had a thing once. I thought it was gonna go from there, but then that Jenny came. Now I don't know what to do. Here's my advice to you. Make friends with his mom. Moms know best what their boys need. And stop wearing that shirt. A. It's not your color. And B. Stars never fall for their fans. There you have it, Kolya. It's only morning and I don't have my voice. I asked you. I asked you so many times. Turn off that AC in the bedroom for the night. My godness, you're eating this bacon again. It's pure cholesterol. White bread. Put it down. Doctor orders, Kolya. Where are you going? I haven't finished yet. Kolya. Nikola. Take me to the shopping mall. Kolya. So, is this how you'll go? In a robe? And diamonds? No, I'll take all the robe. I'll keep the diamonds. That's only one good thing left from my old life. Actually... That's my mom's diamonds. Then it's the only good thing left from her. Kolya. Fine. You know the code. Take that sweet girl, Amelia. I've got business. What business is that? My business. Nikola. Why, Kolya? Why you never have time for your wife? I think this is your home. Hi, do you know where this boy Lev and his mom live? Why? Well, they won a contest, but there's no building number in our database. Is their last name also not in your database? Stop! Where are you going? Stop! Stop, I tell you! Get your hands off, my son! Lova, you scared me so much. Why aren't you at school? Where have you been? He blackmailed me. And it's as if you don't know about this. What are you talking about? Lova. Shame on you for sending a sick kid on a job. What does that even mean? Who are you? Lova, let's go home. Hello, miss. I'll take the baguette in about 15 minutes. What's wrong? Is he a drama club attendee? 
Лева. Call an ambulance. I don't have a phone. Hello, emergency. There's a sick kid. He's unconscious. Absolutely. Building eight. Building eight. What do you mean in an hour? What if he dies? He won't make it before the ambulance arrives. He has a bad heart. Do you have a car? Take us to the nearest hospital. I'll show you where to go. Please help. Save my son. God. Vadim Nikolaevich, I am a grateful man. Ask whatever you want. I'll do what I can. I need a permit to construct a new wing. We have a waiting list six months ahead. We want to open a children's department. No problem. I'll ask around what's what and call you. Say hi to your father. How is he? Tell me. He's fine. He's getting used to mom being back from Italy. She got bored. I see. So no one's gonna get bored here now, right? <laughs> yeah. How do you like this model? Looks a bit large. Honey, if asked you to bring me size 48, you should have brought me size 48. 52? I'm so sorry. Emilia, do I look like size 52? Sofia Pavlovna, of course not. Size 44 at most. I found a few options for you. I think this cardigan would match your eyes perfectly. And this one is for every day. What do you say? Yeah, I always wanted a daughter, but had a son who doesn't care about me. I think he might have forgotten that color my eyes are. Sofia Pavlovna, tell me about your Vadim. Why is he so closed? Yes, closed. That's true. He changed so much after that tragedy. I still can't talk about it. Sofia Pavlovna, I'm sorry I didn't want to upset you. How about we try on your garments? <laughs> yes. It's 48. You are an angel. Galia Stanislav and his girlfriend will come for dinner today. He is on diet. Make something healthy. Fish and vegetables. The dinner must be ready by one. Go. I don't know. He has a career in the best football clubs in the world. He could make himself such a couple. We're not gonna kill this Zheng, right? No need. We are civilized people. There are other methods. Irena Lvovna, Alina Kazitska is here to see you. Oh, Alinochka. Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. What brings you here so early? I was just passing by. Is Stanislav here by any chance? No. Why? Nothing. I better go. No, wait a minute. Did you agree to meet? Did you talk on the phone? No. Actually, I came to have a coffee with you. Galia, don't just stand here. Bring the girl some coffee. No sugar? Yes. Galia, no sugar. And a cup for me. Also, could you recommend me some nice beauty salon? A beauty salon? 
Of course I could. By the way, Stanislav asked about you today. Yeah. Where did you go? How were you doing? You know, I think this relationship with Jenya is such a drag for him. Really. So don't disappear. Act. I'm gonna text you the address and I'll call the cosmetologist and the hairdresser myself, all right? Sir, help us, please. We need to get the kid out of the car. Hello, miss. I'm stuck in traffic. I'll be in about 10 minutes to get the baguette. Thank you. Nurse, my son's unconscious. The doctor will be here soon. What do you mean soon? The boy has heart problems. Call the doctor now. What did Lova want from you? He said he was my son. What? Do I have to get the doctor myself? I'll stay with you until the doctor comes. Do you have a business card? Yes. I'll take it from here. You go. The bouquet awaits you. I'll call you later. Okay. Mom, have you seen my latest hat trick? The people are voting. They say it's the goal of the month. Put the phone away. You can watch it after dinner. By the way, we have fish and vegetables for dinner. Fish? I don't want fish. Can I have chicken pot pie or... You said you didn't care about gala meat fish. So, if you please, gala. Where is your girlfriend, by the way? Punctuality is the politeness of kings, you know. Also, what am I saying? What? Hello, good afternoon. Hello, sorry I'm late. The traffic is terrible. Hello. Here in Lvovna, this is for you. Thank you. Such wonderful flowers. You have an excellent taste. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to lilies. Galia? You have pretty new ring. Thanks. Sorry, I didn't know about the lilies. I transferred you the money for the next month. I intend to invest your prize money in stocks. Any wishes? You could invest in pharmaceutic or IT startups. Their return rate is high there right now. Oh, you know your finance? Zhenya, thank you for your opinion. I'm sure Stanislav appreciates it. So, uh, what do you think? Dad, you decide. We have enough money for now. We'll be able to swim in it soon. Did you watch the latest Chelsea game? Of course. No, we didn't have the pleasure. There was a scout I saw in our match yesterday. He was watching me the whole game. They'll offer me a contract. Maybe I'll go to Chelsea. God, you look so much like your granddad. His eyes also lit up when he talked about football. I wish he could see you right now. Is that what you wanted to tell us today? Not really. Mom, where's Grandma's medallion? What do you mean? It is where it's supposed to be in the office safe. Why? Then let's go. You still haven't changed the code? For once? You don't talk about stuff like this out loud. Here? What do you need it for? Do you remember what Grandma said? I should give it to my fiancé. Well, I'm giving it. We're getting married. 
You don't mind, do you? Why would she mind? This is my medallion. I... We are very happy for you. Thanks, Dad. Congratulations. Okay, I'm late. I'm off to the club. You guys discuss what's what. Genia has my schedule until the end of the year. But what about the dinner? I'll eat at home. Okay, I gotta go. I'll walk you out. All right. Irene Lvovna, I think someone really wants to ruin everything for me and Stanislav. What makes you say that? Nothing much, just a typical woman's violence. Do you know who that might be? I don't know. Stanislav has many fans. You can't remember all of them. Maybe it's someone especially persistent. An ex-girlfriend? You know, now that you say that, I immediately thought of Alina Kozitska. Alina? We were good friends with her parents, and her grandfather was a famous football coach. Just like my father. That's all Stanislav has never told me about it. They had a romance. They were even going to get married. She doesn't think that you're the reason for their breakup. What if she does? A woman abandoned is capable of many things. Now I see why she came this morning and... Ask to get her an appointment at the salon. What salon? Lotus. I see. Thank you for the info. I have to go now. See you soon. Goodbye. Good afternoon, miss. I urgently need manicure, pedicure, haircut, styling, massage, cosmetologist, and epilation. I'll be generous with the specialists and you personally. I will go talk to the specialists and I'll see what I can do. Would you like some coffee? No, I don't have time for coffee. Patient Alina, room seven. What is it? Don't you see that there's a treatment taking place? Are you the cosmetologist? I am. My friend has a terrible allergy because of your treatment. She's all covered in red spots and she's suffocating. That's impossible. It must be some kind of misunderstanding. Well, hello there. Jenya, what are you doing here? Stay down. Get your hands off me. I'll call for help and you'll be arrested for assault. 
We'll go down together, Blackmailer. Why did you send that kid? You want to ruin everything for us. What kid? Don't pretend you don't know. Your boy was late. Stanislav has already proposed to me, and I will marry him. And if you continue bothering us, you'll be sorry next time. I'm telling you, she is crazy. She started saying some nonsense about blackmail some kid, and I don't know anything about it. Godness, she is dangerous. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Iran says that it's not working out between them, and that Stanislav asked about me. Maybe that Genia thought that he wanted to come back to me and... flipped? Look, I would talk to him if I were you. You're right. I already know that it was Alina who paid you. What the hell are you talking about? It's not why I came. Lova is dying. What? Mitral stenosis. It's getting worse. He needs a surgery fast. Lova actually is your son. Have you gone mad? There. His birth certificate. His adoption certificate. This is an expert from your medical record. Nine years ago, you gave birth to Lova and immediately gave him away. Two months later, I adopted him. Where did you get these documents? They couldn't issue those to you. I gave a bribe. I wanted to know that you were healthy and that Lova was healthy and now he's dying. Those are fake. I don't have any kids and I've never had any. Now get out before I call security. Those are real documents, and Lova is your son. If you refuse to save him, everyone will know about it. Who do you live with? Your husband? Boyfriend? He will find out too. Calm down. No need to yell. Sit. Okay. I don't have kids, and I've never had any. But nothing human is alien to me. He could have just come and talked to me. I have connections. I'll try to find out who operates such cases. Maybe I'll help you with some money. But that's all I can do. You got that? Leave the doctor's report and your phone number. Are we having guests? Yes, but they were just leaving. I'll call you when I'll find something out. Is that Stanislav Hotkevich? Really? Goodbye. Bye. New neighbor. Got it. I'm gonna take a shower. Give me two minutes. Okay.
Here's what I have to say. With this diagnosis, the boy should be transferred abroad, urgently. Germany, Israel. How much could it cost? About 100,000 euros. And no one does these kind of surgeries here? Only Vadim Nikolaevich Safronov. But it's harder to get into his Safronia than all the clinics in Germany and Israel combined. Tell me, is the boy your family? No, he's my acquaintance, son. Well, tell your acquaintance to hurry up. A month or two tops. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day. Thank you, Lena. You're welcome. Mom? Vadim, you are not just feeling about or drinking coffee. You are talking to your mother. Everything else can wait. Mom, what did you want to discuss? Vadim, I'm having a small family dinner tonight. Your father, me, and... Emilia will be there. You're at it again? I've told you many times that I hate matchmaking. No need to get into my personal life. Okay, whatever. But you didn't listen to me once. And how did that end up? Mom, you should go. Thanks. Hi, I'm here to see Vadim Nikolaevich. Where's his office? Vadim Nikolaevich is busy today. I can make you an appointment for another day. What is this about? It's personal. Lena? Security? Miss, you can't go in there. Are you kidding me? Lady, let me walk you out. It's Evgenia Alexandrovna to you. I have an appointment. Don't make me use force. So, is this how it's gonna be? Okay. Okay. Miss, so should I make an appointment or not? What's going on here? Well, soon they will start kicking me out of your clinic like that. Right, Vadim? Uh, what's going on here? Madness. Natalia, pay attention to me, please. Zhenya, what's with the negative wipe? Why do you even need this Playboy Safronov? There are much more promising candidates around. Actually, I'm getting married. <gasps> Let me take a look. We need Safronov because we want to offer him to collaborate with our agency. But we don't know how to approach him. There's hardly any information on the Internet. That's right, because you shouldn't search on the Internet, but right here. Safronov is an opportunist. He operates only on the right and important people. Right now he is expanding his clinic. He's had a quite a lot of women, as you may understand. All the rumor has it that he will settle down soon. Someone serious? Emilia Kolobova. She's working his mother, not him. Follows her everywhere. Although, you know, men falls for Emilia's like her themselves. What do you mean, like her? You know, she is all spiritual, light, just like a fairy. So it's models. What else? Also, he likes to shoot. He goes to the shooting range. The one in the park, what it calls scope or something. He practices there every morning. He likes to shoot, you say? Yep.
It's the first time I see a girl shoot like that. Vadim, were you firing at someone in particular? Yes, my boss. Why is that? She is a spinster. Invites beautiful girls. Oh. Where did you learn to shoot like that? First love. She shot cans. I had to do it too. I've always liked women who know how to handle firearms. Is that so? How about six o'clock? Same place. All right. Will you make it in these high heels? They feel like slippers. Wonderful. Good morning, son. How are you feeling? Here's your breakfast and medicine. Lova, talk to me. Why did you go to her? Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you tell me about her? I wanted to know what my real mom looked like. Look, Lova. Even if she gave birth to you, isn't mom the one who takes care of their child, who loves them, looks after them, worries about them? Don't I do it all? You do. I will never ever give you up. I will do everything for you to recover. Anything. I love you very much. I love you too, mom. Men without heart. No. Vadim Nikolaevich is all booked up these days. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. Hi. Records? On your table. You have a visitor. I told them that you were busy. Mom. What brings you? No. You ignored my yesterday's invitation. You don't answer my calls. I had to drag myself here across town. And I had a massage appointment for today. You know how my back hurts. Also, what do you know about me? Mom, you shouldn't have such sacrifices. Stop clowning around. I want to be there today. Vadim, you're not getting out of this. You should see your parents at least once a year. Mom, you've invited someone else, am I right? No one. Only Dad and Amelia will be there. You know I'm against matchmaking. Emilia is my guest. A well-mannered girl. Blonde. She pays much more attention to me than my own. Be there at 6 p.m. or you can forget. That I have a mother. Got it. Vadim Nikolaevich, I've brought my father-in-law. He's not feeling well again. It already happened to him once before. Looks like it's his heart. Let's take a look. I'll go work, Mom. Alina? Hey. Oh, hey. I didn't know you jogged here. How are you? Fine, you? Also fine. Stas, tell me, is everything okay with your Zhenya? She's been acting weird. Why? What's up? Did you see her? Not, not me. She saw me. Can you imagine? She found me at the salon, started saying that no one would bother you, threatened me and accused me of blackmail. So it's not a coincidence that you're jogging here. Did you come to say nasty things about my Zhenya? You... You don't believe me? 
We have been friends in childhood, you know? Friends? Is this friendship to you? You badmouth my fiancé. Is this okay to you? Don't come near us. You got that? Don't stand there. Get out of here. Calm down. There, there. You should have seen him. I thought he was gonna hit me. Godness. That's what I was afraid of. What? She turned him against all of his old friends. He might soon stop seeing us. Why would she do that? What do you mean, why? To control him completely. His money, to be exact. She doesn't need anything else from Stanislav. Alina. You and I must save him. Yeah. Tell me what to do. I will do anything. My girl. What are you hiding there from me? It's nothing. Show me? No. What are you hiding? Well, when I was a kid, I dreamt of a Cinderella-style wedding in a French castle and gathered pictures in my album. Cinderella? Then I'll be Prince Charming. You're my king. My love. I don't need France. Or Loire Valley castles. It's so much money. Look, if you want Loire and Cinderella, then it's no problem. I can make my love's dream come true. Really? Yeah. You're the best. Right, so how about tonight? Will you drop by the club? We'll go to the restaurant together. The banquet is at six, Mihalich said. Don't be late, and you can't argue with the coach. Sweet, how about we meet at the restaurant? I have got to see Natalie. She has got some family problems. And I'll be sitting there alone like an idiot? Not an idiot. You'll show the guys here in your right? They haven't seen it yet. Yeah, they'll be jealous. Okay, I'm going to take a shower. Don't be late. Clear. What happened? Assisting. Intubate. Intubate. Give him three cubes of adrenaline. Hemodynamics is very weak. Vadim Nikolaevich, we're not gonna restart him. Another three cubes. Pupils are dilated. It's not hot. It happens, Vadim Nikolaevich. Time of death, 1607. Sell the family yourself. Hey. Hey. So, where are you taking me? Restaurant or straight to a bar? Not today. I'm sorry. Tough day. Did something happen? I don't want to talk about it. How about this? We'll go somewhere next time. I'll call you. Where are you gonna call? You don't have my number. All right. Type it in. All right. I won't wait long. Okay. Bye. No. Yes, ma'am. Vadim, why are you late? Emilia is already here. It's not good. Not nice to make us wait for you. Mom, I can't make it today. 
I warned you. You can forget my number forever. Mom, listen, this is blackmail. Okay, I'll be there soon. But I won't be alone. Plus one. See ya. Kolya, do you ever know who our son is bringing to our home? He's telling me that he's coming with some guest. Although there wasn't even a hint of her in the morning. What are we gonna do? Leave our son alone. And go out to our guest immediately. I don't know what else to say to her. Godness, have a conversation with a young, intelligent woman. I allow it. I can only imagine who Vadim is bringing home. Another tasteless provincial. Fine. I will give her a warm welcome. Zhenya! <laughs> Zhenya, wait! Wait a second. Let's go. Where? Dinner with my parents. What? Spontaneous dinner, but I really need you as a plus one. How long will it take? We'll have a dinner and leave. Okay, I have to make a call. Sure. Hello, Natalia. Can you cover for me? I'll say that your sugar daddy is failing for divorce and I'm counseling you. I don't know what's happened with you, girlfriend. But it's better to leave my sugar daddy out of it, because he will file for divorce if he finds out. Can you imagine? I found a youth ring in his pocket. It's so lame. With hearts and all. Natalie, please, it's life or death situation. Fine. I will cover for you. You haven't even married yet, and you're already out and about. Be careful, girl. Thanks. I'll be damned. Irena Lvovna, that's not me. <laughs> awesome. Brilliant, Denise. Okay, tonight you're going to a party, there Stanislav will be. Zhenya will come later, they will let you in. This is your chance, baby. What do I need to do? Looking like this? Nothing. He will do everything himself. Well, go ahead. Did you lose something, darling? Yes. The invitation to the party. What party? The one you're going to. I am also invited, but I can't find my invitation anywhere. How about we use yours? It is for two? There's nothing for you to do there. It's a boring gathering of important people and dumb athletes. Baby, I was so upset then you were taken to hospital. I understand that we need to spend as much time together as we can. I'll be quick. My family nest. I'll be damned. Mine is my smaller than your parking lot. Mommy. Meet Zhenya. Hi. Oh, we have met. Was it you who was kicked out of my son's clinic yesterday? Mom, you're mistaken. No one's kicked out of my clinic. You have a clinic? I have a lot of things. Come on, I'll introduce you to my dad. Who did he bring to our home? Hey. Hey. Hey, man. How's your knee? It's fine. Good luck. Hi. Stanislav, good to see you. Hi. How's it going? I hear things are looking up. That's right. I thought Jenya went to your place. No, she didn't visit. She said you were divorcing, no? No, we're not. Oh. For now. I guess I heard wrong. Forget what I said. Have a nice night. Give me another. I 
will have what he is having, please. Alina, is that you? You're unrecognizable. You look good. Listen, I'm sorry for earlier. I didn't mean to. I don't know what got into me. It's okay. Happens to the best of us. So, we're good? <laughs> we're good. It is so nice to get together in a close circle of outstanding people. Evgenia, you may not know it, but my son is a brilliant cardiac surgeon. Mom. My husband is a minister. Former. Emilia comes from a dynasty of extraordinary wonderful conductors. As for me, I used to shine at La Scala stage. I could sing F6. And what do you do, Evgenia? I'm a shopping consultant. I'm sorry, who? Sofia Pavlovna, those are people who help others pick their clothing. Why would they need help? Are they handicapped? Of course not. It's just that sometimes people have no taste. They seem to be covered in diamonds from head to toe, but they lack taste. <coughs> And your parents? Are they consultants as well? No, my dad is a very important man. He is the main honey wagon operator in town. Honey wagon? Honey wagon? Is that... Oh, God. And what does your mom do? My mom is a colleague of yours. She is a music teacher at the kindergarten. <laughs> Oksana Dmitrievna, don't worry. I will treat our esteemed guest myself. Vadim, mom will give you the best piece of chicken. Here you go. Now, Evgenia. How embarrassing. You could find something decent in my help's closing. Or we could reimburse you. It's not expensive. So far. Has anyone seen Kurovin's latest play? It's so absurd. Vadim, I need to talk to you now. Would you like a cup of coffee in the garden? No, thanks. I'm gonna go wash my dress. Who did you bring to our home? Your dad is a minister. Former. Okay, former. I could sing F6. And what is this? It's just ooh. Mom, it's not just ooh. It's love at first sight and I'm gonna marry her. Over my dead body. Deal. Don't be an idiot. Mom. Eavesdropping? dropping. You can tell the lady of the house. It can't get any worse. It's not my style. And I'm not claiming Vadim. Me neither. Are you really a personal shopper? Your watch is quite expensive. You think? I know. But unemployed conductor's daughters don't wear such things, too. Zhenia, pick up. When are we going to the city? Oh. 
We're not going to the city. I had a drink. This wasn't the deal. I need to go to the city. It's not like you have mouths to feed. I promised my mom to be back by midnight. Call me a taxi. Sweetie, taxi doesn't come here at night. We've tried. Call your mom. Tell her you'll be back in the morning. What's the problem? It's so romantic here at night. I have a balcony in my room. You can see stars from there. You can gaze at them. Look, I don't sleep with a man I don't know. So let's get to know each other. Excuse me. I'm sorry I didn't want to bother you. Can you spare me a couple minutes? I'd like to discuss something with you. Can it wait till morning? Of course. Then good night. Natalie, what's wrong? Finally. Can you imagine? I almost caught my sugar daddy red-hunted. He wanted to go to the party with his mistress. And I had to go with him to stop them. And your footballer was there. Shit, but your sugar daddy doesn't like football and all that. That's not all. Your footballer left with Alina Kozitska. She was all dressed up. My god, her again. Zhenya, open up. Don't be stupid. Okay, bye. Zhenya. Zhenya. I'm not gonna open, leave. What Barsik? Why did you take the phone? I just wanted to play. Give it back. Why are you texting here and lying to me at that? Don't get upset, son. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be okay, I promise. I'm tired of sitting at home. I wanna go to school, to my friends. You'll have your surgery soon, and then you'll go to school. I'll even let you go to football classes if you want. Really? Even football? Of course. Have I ever lied to you? Zhenya. Why aren't you eating anything? I watch my figure. You skank. You're such a skank. You stole my diamond necklace. What? I didn't steal anything. Why would I need your diamonds? Well, sure. Why would Honey Wagon Operator's daughter need a diamond necklace? I demand. I insist we go and search her purse at once. That's it. I won't stand for this. Who do you think you are? Who am I? Oh. Mom. Sofa. You can't just accuse people like that. Who did you bring to our home? Where did you even meet her? A shopping consultant. Why are you being silent? You also think I stole it. Okay, let's search me. See? There's nothing in there. What's in there? I 
I didn't take that you planted it there. What did I tell you? There. We have to call the police. Женя. Can I have a word with you? Zhenya was in her room the whole night locked with a key. I was awake, and I'm sure that she didn't leave anywhere. You know perfectly well the audibility in our house, and in the morning, we left our rooms at the same time and came down to the dining room. Not true. Yesterday you came here together and she spent the night with you. No, ma'am. You've miscalculated. I'm sorry about the incident. I hope all of this stays between us. Of course. You're at it again? Not only do you stick up your nose everywhere, you're also willing to frame a girl. If only everything turns out the way you want it. Everyone must dance to your tune. Have you ever asked what others want? You're such a bitch, Sofa. I can't look at you anymore. And I won't. Kolya, you got me all wrong. I meant well. Zhenya. Don't do this. I talked to Mom, it was all a misunderstanding. So this is how you act in your family nests. You call people thieves and kick them out. Good to know. Wait, wait. Leave me alone. You disgust me. You and your snob family. Then why did you go with me? You wanted to pick up a rich guy, right? You eat it. I don't need a rich guy. I earn well myself. It's just my best friend's son need a surgery. You know, your vicious mommy almost got me at first. What do you mean? I actually was at your clinic. I was told that only you could help us. But I was kicked out of there, because no one cares about sick and poor kids. Vadim Nikolaevich comes to the rescue only for the rich, whose heart is acting up. That's why I need this whole show. And it actually worked. You know why? Why? Because you're worthless. A turkey cock, who is easy to buy with a stupid chick with long legs. How do you even do the heart surgeries? I'm a good surgeon. A man without a heart can't give it to others. I can help the boy. Kolya gave me this bracelet when our son was born. It was such a rare thing back in the day. And where did he even get it back then? Very nice. Kolya. Maybe he will come back to me. He definitely will. He loves you very much. He just needs some time to calm down a little. Sofia Pavlovna. Everything will surely work out. So what Natalia's place you stayed the night at? Her husband doesn't know about the divorce. I really did stay at night at the friend's place, but not Natalie's. Do you think I'm an idiot? I stayed with a friend from the orphanage. What orphanage? I lived with my grandma until I was 10. Then she died and I got into an orphanage. 
I had an only friend there. She has got problems, not me. Oh, yeah. And what problems does this friend have? Her son got very sick. She needed support. And you couldn't tell me about it. I love you very much. I was afraid that you would think that I wasn't good enough for you. Your mom thinks that I only need your money. Zhenya, how could you think that? I don't care where you're from. I was very worried about you, you know. Someone's gonna have to work later to restore my nerve cells. Oh, yeah. Good people told me that Alina consoled you yesterday. Alina? Uh -huh. Yes. She was all dressed up yesterday, and I thought she was pretending to be you. What? Why would I need a poor copy when I have the original? Hello, Vera. Hi. It's Evgenia. I made inquiries. They can help Lova at the Safronia Clinic. Safronia. I'll text you the coordinates. You'll have to make an appointment. But I don't have money for the surgery. I can give you $5,000. That's the best I can do for you. Tell Lova to get well. Bye. Safronov. He even kissed me at the party yesterday. He had a glass of cognac, but still. Anyway, I drove him home, left him with the security. I was afraid to take him to the apartment. What if that crazy chick was there? The ball is in your court now. Act? But how? Let him feel like a man. Right. I'll ask him to put up a shelf for me. Oh, God. I don't think he would be able to. More likely you would do it for him. Do you have a car? Yes. It's just that Stanislav is really into cars. And if you would want to buy a new one, he could help you with that. Well, go for it. I already miss you. I'm going to my parents after training to discuss the wedding. I'll see you there. Did you forget something? What are you doing here? I think we've discussed everything. Did your mom send you or did you run away again? You left me because I was sick? Do you want to drink water juice? No. Thanks. Listen. I'm not your mom. This is just impossible. I found my birth certificate. And your name is on it. And on Facebook, your birthplace and age match. It's just a coincidence. But even if I had to leave my child, I would do it not because they were sick. Why then? Well, because I would understand that I couldn't give him anything. Doctor's medicine, care. Does your mom know you're here? She doesn't. She can't help me. 
That's why I'm gonna die soon. You won't die. You'll have a surgery. We've found a clinic and we'll have the money. You will recover. And now I need to call your mom to bring you your medicine. Here, talk to your mom. How do you like Barsik? Barsik's awesome. The coolest Barsik in the world. Mom, it's me. Just don't be mad. I'm a genius. Mom, don't yell, please. Will you come get me? Okay. Bye. Lila, you need to rest until your mom gets here. Do you have a children's room? No, but I'll think of something. What if you have more kids? Where will they sleep? I don't know. I've never thought about it. Wow! You have a video game console? Yeah. Want to play? Yes, but I don't know how. Here, I'll show you. You run with this. That's tackle. That's a pass. Here. Play. I'm gonna go and get ready. Where is Lyoba? Asleep. Go to the kitchen. I don't have much time, so I'll be brief. Why don't you watch your son and let him run around town? He is barely breathing. I went for my shift. They don't give me sick leave anymore. He was asleep. I didn't know he would run away again. Here. What's this? Your glass. I stole it to make a DNA test. I spent all my money on it. Now I have nothing to buy Lyova medicine, but I won't convince you otherwise, right? Lyova is your son. I would have never admitted that to you, but they told me that they had a waiting list six months ahead at the clinic of yours. Lyova simply won't make it. You have connections. This friend of yours, he is famous footballer, right? Please arrange surgery for Lova. And continue living your beautiful life. Please. This can't be. Excuse me. Oh, God. From Safronov, come to the clinic, bring the medical record.
I can't promise you anything, but I'll try to do everything in my power. I'll try to convince the owner of the clinic. Stay here. The boy is sick. No need to take him anywhere. Don't open the door to anyone and don't show any signs of life. I'll be back soon. What if your footballer comes back? He won't. And if he does, tell him you're my friend. And keep your mouth shut. Okay. Anyway, I thought this Zhenya would call the police herself. I definitely didn't expect that from Sofia Pavlovna. Mine is also Zhenya. Believe it or not, I hate that name. I hate that type. She is all no nonsense, but a beauty with a long legs at that. Ours is also like that. Hey, maybe it's the same Zhenya? No. Mine isn't stupid. She wouldn't cheat on Stanislav. Well, she didn't. I'm here to see Vladimir Nikolaevich. Miss, we are all already explained to you. There are no openings right now. I'm here. Come on in. What's up? My love. I need to see the boy. It's all there. Tests, reports. Or is it that bad? This is for you instead of the ruined one. I hope I got the right size. I don't need anything from you. Take a look. You can always refuse. Your style, your harmony. I wonder, does this dress cost more or less than surgery? I've got the permit to construct a new wing where I'll be able to treat kids for free. And what do you do for others, apart from these shows for the sake of sick children? Anyway, I haven't had lunch today. Or breakfast. I had two surgeries in the morning. How about we go eat and I'll tell you what we're gonna do with Lova there. I hope Eugenia's friend is okay. I think so. Who else is gonna be at the wedding from her side? Zhenya is from an orphanage, so there won't be any family. A few friends, maybe. From an orphanage? You said she was raised by her grandma. Mom, what do you want from me? I don't care where she's from, even if she was raised by wolves. Are you against the wedding? No, no, we're not against it. France, Cinderella. Well, it's your money. You decide. Good then. I can't reach her. She promised to come and discuss the wedding. Babe. Hey, Vera, I have good news. Lova will be exam tomorrow and they'll decide what to do next. How's he? There's a chicken in the freezer. You can defrost and boil it, or order takeout from a restaurant. Is the boy with you? Yes, it's hard for my friend alone, and they're with me for now. Anyway, the surgery will cost around $25,000.
How much? The price includes many components. Doctor's salary, medication, upkeep at the clinic, and so on. Fine, I'll find the money. Why you? Because Vera has no money. She's from an orphanage. My love. You said she was your childhood friend. Are you from an orphanage too? What does it matter? I have to go. Wait. I need to talk to you. I really need to go. It's important. Seriosa, bring the bill, please. Let's take a walk. I'll tell you everything. Zhenya doesn't answer. She has some problems with her friend. Maybe that's why she's late. Okay, I'm gonna go. We'll discuss the wedding next time. Wait. What? Do you have an hour of your time? I do. Why? Have a seat. I met Alina. She's going to buy a new car. She said she didn't understand anything about it. Maybe you could help her. You know this stuff. No problem, I'll help. So I will call her. Go ahead. So, what did you want to talk about? Vadim Nikolaevich! Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Vadim Nikolaevich. Hello. Katusha runs so fast. I can't keep up with her. I'm so happy. Vadim Nikolaevich, our whole family prays for you every day. You remember how she was. She barely walked. And now she does gymnastics. She is making great progress. That's good. Come for a checkup just in case. Well, I can see her cheeks are red like the real future Olympic champion, right? Thank you so much. We'll make sure to come by. Bye. 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 Now that's a some convenient encounter. You think I'm a bastard? I must apologize to you for my mother. She's basically an egoistic child, but that's understandable. Her hope to have grandkids is fading away every year. Why is that? Vadim Nikolaevich values himself too high? No. Vadim Nikolaevich is a widower. My wife lied to me. She didn't go to the hospital with the sick kid, but to his friend's birthday party. He really wanted to go. They got into a car crash. She died on the spot, and our son was brought to a hospital where I worked. I didn't know who I was going to operate on until I walked into the OR. Kirill died in my arms. I haven't operated on children under no pretext since then. What about Lova? I'll put him in the plan for this month. A colleague of mine will operate, not me. He's very good. But you must promise me one thing. 25,000. Never lie to me. Vadim, there is no need for all of this. I just need your professional help. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in you. And what if I reject you? You won't help me. I will, of course, but that's not the point. I have to go. Wait. Somebody's waiting for you. Yes, my friend already called. Then tomorrow morning at the clinic with the boy, on an empty stomach. They'll do the tests and I'll examine him. Men without heart. How do you understand all this? It's an absolute puzzle to me. Whoa, that's it. This ride is fire. Zero to a hundred in 4.9. You should take it. I don't drive that fast. I'm not as courageous as you are. Stas, this might sound stupid, but I've always wanted a red car. Stupid, right? Why? Have you seen my new ride? 
It's also red. Ferrari are red. All the cool cars are red, you know. Good afternoon. Hi. Uh, can we have a car like this, but the red one? Of course, it can be at our dealership tomorrow morning. And you're Stanislav Khotkevich? Can I have your autograph? Please, I'm your huge fan. I just want to say that your last hat trick is just fantastic, really. And of course, we will offer you exclusive discount conditions. Full set and snow tires as a bonus. Rear view camera, tire pressure monitor, ESP, ABS. Maximum package. Take it, they'll make you a discount. Tell me, how will you pay for it? Cash, non-cash, any form of payment convenient for you? Well, I don't know yet. I didn't take money with me. How about I come tomorrow? Of course, no problem. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. the car will be at the dealership. Okay, I'll come by too. I want to ride this baby. Well, then tomorrow at 9. Here. It's a deal. By the way, I advised Jenka to get the same car, but she didn't listen. She does everything her way. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Good luck. Well, is it agreed? Did someone come? I have to bring Lava to the clinic tomorrow morning for tests and examination. I will take my son myself. No, I will do it. I found the clinic thanks to my personal connections, and you shouldn't be there. It's either that or nothing. Fine. Lova is fast asleep. I'll go wake him up and we'll go home and I will bring him tomorrow morning. Let him sleep. Are you going to take him on a public transport across town? I thought you would give us a ride, or a sick child isn't worthy of such an honor. It's a 15-minute drive from my home to the clinic. It's an hour from yours, and that's not taking traffic into account. Why would you drag him? The doctor said it's very serious. All right. I'll call you after the clinic. Here is his medicine. The prescription says how, what, and then to give him. He has to take one pill in an hour before bedtime. Wake him up and give it to him. One more thing. Leova doesn't eat frozen food, so you will have to make him a porridge in the morning. Can you do that? He has to go to the clinic on an empty stomach. Hello. This is Iran Hatkevich. They should have notified you about my call. Everything I say is strictly confidential. I urgently need information about this person. Zhenya? What the hell? I was waiting for you at my parents' house. You don't even pick up your phone. I was at the hospital with Lava, my friend's son. He's really bad. He's staying with us tonight. It's far for him to go home. Let him stay? No problem. I hope he gets better. Is that all his? Damn. Shit. Poor kid. Zhenya, we have started a discussion with my father. He says that if the whole team goes, we need a private jet. You know, I don't want the wedding. What do you mean? Let's just quietly sign the papers, and that's it. And all the money for castles, dresses, jets, we'll give to a fund that helps children. Zhenya, are you feeling all right? You wanted this yourself, friends, Cinderella, your album. Why not, Jenny? It's so pointless. What matters is that we're together.
You know, Genia, you're a genius. Charity is awesome. Everyone will talk about us. We only have to make some children like Beckham's. Only more. Five to beat them. You would be the best mother. Stop it. There's a kid here. We'll make him up. Let's see. Stanislav Hotkevich. Stanislav Hotkevich has announced his engagement. Bingo. And after the test, I will take it to the best confectionery. Mom doesn't let me have sweets before my meals. Okay, then we'll have breakfast after the hospital, and then we'll have cakes after that. But before the hospital, we'll stop by a place. What place? It's a surprise. Get in. I have never been to such a beautiful store before. Do you like it? Yes, very much. We'll buy you whatever you want. Even a tablet? A tablet first. I'm gonna die, right? Is that why you bought me a tablet? As a farewell gift? Sweetie, I'll do anything for you to get better and live happily ever after. You still have to introduce me to Barsik. Do you really want to meet him? Of course. He is lying in cat's clothing. Come on. Once again, please, tell my son that I'm expecting him. Vadim Nikolaevich has set a time for personal visits, before 8 a.m. and after 6 p.m. But this, of course, doesn't concern his own mother. Hi. We are here to see Vadim Nikolaevich. Evgenia? What a grown child you have. What do you know? Vadim Nikolaevich, there are people here to see you. Sofia Palna, I'm very glad to see you too. So you have found time between investigations and decided to pay a visit to your son. So this is how it is, right, Vadim? You have time for the honey vegan operator's daughter, but not for your own mother. Why don't you answer my calls? Mom? Lenochka, please see my mom to my office and make her some... Coffee. Coffee. Mom, I'll take care of you right after the young man here. Sofia Palna, follow me. Vadim, we need to talk tete a tete. Well, of course. Come with me. Vadim. Vadim. Lev. Lev. Well, Lev, another small shot, and we will bolster your strength with some cookies. Relax your arm. It's gonna hurt again? It won't. Don't worry. Everyone says that I have such a good hand. Well, what do you say? Did it hurt? Old? It is done? You are not like the other nurses. You are all so kind here. As if it's not a hospital at all. Here is a certificate of courage for you. And the cookies, just as I promised. Well, Lev, I know that you're tired of all this, but I need to listen to your engine. Breathe. 
Don't breathe. Take a breath. Breathe out. Breathe normally. That's all. Come to my office. Can I have a picture with you? Sure. I blinked in this one. You can post this one. All right, one second. There. Ladies, don't you have work to do? Is the paperwork ready? Oh, hey. Hey. So, are we taking the car? Look, I don't know what to do. Mine didn't start again today. I need a new one, but I can't afford this one. I have to save for six months. Say, is there an installment plan or a lease? Unfortunately, it's either installments or the discount. Some other time, then. Sorry for wasting your time. Don't be coy. I could lend you the money if you want. I have some. It's not safe to drive a faulty car, you know. Stas, thank you so much. I will be able to repay you in parts every month, or even once every two weeks. No problem. My dad made a few good investments, so we are in no need of money. And there will be even more money in a month or two. It's a secret. We're negotiating with a scout from Europe. So you mean... You will leave? Well, yeah. So are we taking the car or not? You know, you may have a lot of money, but... Your genia would probably mind. I decide myself. Give me the agreement. Yes, here's the agreement. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I will gladly answer. Here. The agreement. Are you a singer? Was it you who sang in the magic flute? I remembered you. My mom took me to a theater on my birthday. You look like a firebird. What a sweet boy. I did sing the Queen of the Night. I sang very high notes. Did you like it? A lot. Vadim, I hope you will help this young music lover. Well, of course I will. Zhenya, I need to discuss the boy's health with his mom. Can you call her and ask her to come here? And while we wait, we'll have lunch together? No, thanks. I'll call Vera. She will come. But me and Lova have to go. Zhenya, you don't understand. It's better for the boy to stay here. Lova, what do you say? Would you stay here with us? There's a TV, good food, they give you ice cream. You'll watch some cartoons and in the meantime we'll watch your heart. I don't mind. It's great here. But we haven't signed the agreement yet and all of Lova's medicine is at home. I've prescribed different medicine and will sign the agreement soon. It's just that my former classmate is in the town, Artemi. What Artemi? I hated that show off. Mom, can you stay out of it? He's been living and working in Israel for a long time now, and he's here for a conference. It's just that I don't operate on children myself, and I trust him like myself. He'll do the surgery. The only thing is that you have to make the payment today or tomorrow. I'll get the money. Good. Optionally, the mom can also live with the kid, but you'll have to pay extra for that. Mom. I'll pay for everything. All right. This is your room. All right. When will mom be here? Vera will be here soon, and I have to leave for a couple of hours. You can have a tablet with games, so you won't get bored. 
Will you leave me again? I won't leave you. Ever. You'll grow so tired of me, so that you'll run away from me. Bye. Well, honey, make yourself comfortable. Vadim, looks like you are in love with this girl, but she's terrible, and with a sick kid. Mom, you're terrible. First of all, it's not her kid, it's her friends. Secondly, even if he was hers, what's so bad about it? It's not what I mean. I'm talking about her family. And who is she anyway? And nobody. What do you have to talk about with her? You a genius cardiac surgeon. Mom, your snobism is killing me. It's not a snobism. I'm used to telling the truth in the face. Mom, you just don't see yourself from the outside. Vadim. Enough. I have to go to my patients. Vadim, your father left home. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. I understand him very well, Mom. I would run away from you as well, but I don't know where. Yeah, hi, I'm calling about the car sale. Yes, I'm ready to come right now. Text me the address, please. It's a nice car. I'm okay with everything. Can I give you a ride? We'll make a lap. Yeah, sure. Stop! I'm so stupid. Nikolai doesn't even want to talk to me. Sofia Pavlovna, ask your son to get in touch with his father. He will probably answer. No, I will not humiliate myself. If they don't need me, I will swallow a handful of sleeping pills and won't wake up. My God, Sofia Pavlovna, don't say that. I would talk to Vadim myself. I just don't know how. He probably won't have time for me to. Really? Of course. Would you do that? Oh, Emilia, you're an angel. You know, I think the best way is to pay him a visit at home in the evening. Then he will know where to run and nothing to cover with. Write down the address. Trokprudny Lane, Building 4, Apartment 25. Thanks. My God. What a beauty. You know, Angela Novitska has exactly the same thing. She was proving to me that it was a one-off product for a good hour. <laughs> By the way, have you heard? She was robbed. You don't say. Yes, her husband to be exact. Rumor has it, he brought a mistress, and at the moment, the house was attacked. Goodness, it serves him right that don't get a mistress with a living wife. To be honest, I didn't hear anything about it, and I don't know who Angela Novitska is. Angela Novitska is a real bitch. Let me tell you a secret. This ring was made by a local jeweler. Something tells me that it's not the only one in town. But I don't have one. To us. To you. You must file the report. How many of you smart asses are there? You must. And you must watch your belongings, so? Look, I really need money. I wanted to sell my car to save a child. File the report, please. 
I need a statement from my insurance company to at least get a compensation. Why didn't you start with that? You urgently need money and they stole your car straight away. How inconvenient. And you're covering with a child. Have you no shame? I'm telling the truth. That's how much of this truth I've heard in my life. And actually, lady, I have a lunch break. Right now. I'm worried about him. You understand my state. Hi, are you a doctor? Hello, yes. Do you work here, right? Yes. What's going on here? My friend brought my son here for examination today. She promised to call me back and she didn't. I was told he was hospitalized, but they don't tell me what room he is in. Lev Tamilin, maybe you know him. Oh, Lev Tamilin, sure I do. Down the hall, room 9, and you... You are Vera, Evgenia's friend. I guess you could say that. Could? I think you're very lucky to have a friend like her. She'll do everything for you. How is Lova? Why has he been kept in the hospital? Is he in danger? That's what I wanted to discuss with you. He has atrial fibrillation and pulmonary edema. It's very serious. He needs surgery. And to avoid irreversible consequences, he needs to stay here under the supervision of doctors. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I urgently need $25,000 for my friend's son's operation. It can't wait. She'll repay us later. Uh-huh. Zhenya, what the hell? I haven't finished. I need 25000 for Lova's operation now. Why didn't you say sooner? I've already lent some to Alina. Alina? Yeah. She asked. She asked to look at a car and help her. And she was short of money, so I borrowed her 30 grand. So there is no more money, unless I ask my father. You gave Alina so much money and told me nothing? What were you thinking? What does this Alina even want? Zhenya, I earned this money myself. Why are you scolding as if I am a kid? Yeah? Then why does your dad take care of all your money? Because my dad knows this stuff better. You could have given some of yours if it was so urgent. You're obviously unaware of it, but I don't have such kind of money. Zhenya. Zhenya, don't be mad. Shit. Come on, oh, come on. That's it. Give me the tablet. It's a gift. Lova, you can't worry, even because of the game. Why did you even buy this stupid tablet? It's bad for your eyes, and it makes you dumper. Not true. Zhenya said it's safe, and it has educational games. What does she know? She knows. Give me the tablet back. Okay. But play another game. You can't worry. Zhenya said I'll get better here. She said right. I wanted to sell my car to pay for the surgery, but it was stolen. The police don't file the report, and they don't give me the statement for my insurance. Tomorrow morning, I'll try to withdraw everything I have on my account, and I think that this should be enough for my advance payment. The banks are closed already. Where exactly they didn't file the report? It's for you. It's your General Shevchenko. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. It will be done in the best way possible. 
Well, they won't find the car, as you may understand. The important thing is that they gave me the statement for my insurance. When did you eat last time? It's not important. It's important. Let's go get dinner. I promised Lova that I'd come to him. He's with his mom right now. She came to the clinic. She was looking for him. Why didn't you tell her anything? She's his mother. She's worried. My purse and phone were stolen. I couldn't. Right. I see. You need to eat anyway. I insist as a doctor. Look, I'm not up to romance right now. I'm not going to a restaurant. No one's taking you there. Zhenya. I haven't told Lova's mother yet, but I will tell you, he's... He's in a very bad condition. It would be a miracle if he leaves the OR. I thought doctors didn't make such prognosis. It's not a prognosis. I've seen a lot of things in my life. I know that miracles happen. As I understand, you're the only close person to your friend. Just in case, so that you know what to do if anything happens. And now let's go to my place. I'll eat myself and I'll feed you. And we'll talk in a normal, calm environment. Come on. Wait. Are you kidding me? Decided to hide behind me in front of your mom's protege again? And under this pretext like this? Don't freak out. I'm not kidding with such things. Let me find out what does she want. Wait. Hi, Emilia. What can I do for you? Sorry to bother you. I have decided to talk about your mother and took the liberty of coming to your place. I don't think now is the best time to talk about my mother. Maybe you could give me 30 minutes of your time tomorrow. It's really important. Tomorrow with pleasure. Then here's my business card. I'll call you. Hotkevich has a beautiful fiance. He probably had to steal her from other contenders. What about Hotkevich? Your friend Evgenia. She and Hadkevich announced their wedding the other day. You didn't know that? Zhenya. Wait. Wait, I tell you. Stop. Stop. You're fast with her. At least figure out which girls you have on even days and which on odd days. How about you start with yourself with even and dot? Is it true that you're getting married? My personal life is none of your concern. You're wrong. It is my concern ever since you came into mine. You're flattering yourself. If it's Amelia, then so be it. Do what you want. Wait. I don't need Amelia. I need you. Do you like eggs? Where are my shoes? In the hall. Is that all you want to say to me? I have to go. Why do you need a gun? And why is it not in safe? Why are you so nervous? I thought you had a way with weapons. It's not a toy, it's a firearm. Please. We're not in a Chekhov's play. Zhen, what's wrong? Stay. We'll have breakfast. Or do you have to run, prepare for your wedding? I have to deal with the money and the agreement. Very well. Wonderful. Oh. 
Where have you been? Where? I called every hospital, every morgue. Let me go, you're hurting me. My car and my purse with my phone in it were stolen. I spent the night at the hospital with Lova. He was hospitalized yesterday. They will operate on him. Damn it, Jenya. I'm, I'm sorry. Jenya. I'm sorry. Look, I was worried the whole night. I have a training in the morning. I'm sorry. I need to take a shower. Okay, of course. Женя, listen. My parents are expecting us for dinner. How about we go to them? I'll get the money for the boy from my father. Thank you. You are very nice. I managed to find out that Evgenia Alexandrovna Lisitsina was actually raised in an orphanage after her grandmother's death. Her mom died during childbirth. Nothing is known about her father. Was there something else after the orphanage? Yes. She got pregnant at 16. But it is unclear whether she gave birth or not. Before she turned 16, she practiced shooting. She was a good shooter. She could even join the Olympic team. Then, judging by the night school graduation certificate, she enrolled at a college. She studied well. At the same time, she worked as a waitress, cleaner, watchman. After a year of study, she transferred to a good university, faculty of commerce. In her third year, she became an intern at a PR company. And then she hit the jackpot. What do you mean? She worked her butt off. She was making her career. You know, overall, she's a good girl, a good person. She's just put a sick boy in a clinic. There's only one bad thing. She's cheating on your son. And do you have proof? Jenia, why did you decide not to have a wedding? You and Charity? Did something happen? Nothing happened. I just changed my mind. But why children? Not dogs, not cats, but children. Do you love kids so much? Mom, why not? Zhenya's friend has a sick child. She was very impressed by that. Dad, I need $25,000, by the way. Or how much is it, Zhenya? May I ask you, why do you need this kind of money? We need to help the boy. I am sorry, but you've used up your limit. The rest of the money are in circulation, and it's not that easy to get it back. I'm gonna need at least two weeks. Well, then lend me some of yours. You have the money. I don't have that much. Excuse me. Emilia, hi. This is Vadim. Could you come to my place tonight? Tuk -tuk. 
Knock, knock. What are you doing? You decided to rob us. God, I knew it was all about the money. What money? You don't have that much. You can't even lend it to your own son. Don't push it, honey. Better look what I want to give you as a wedding gift. Is that your son? Did you follow me? No, not me. Specially trained people did. And that's why I know everything about you. About your kid. And what you are sleeping with the doctor. Here's my advice to you. Never mess with people who can protect their family and their money as well. Do you think I'm with your son because of the money? Well, of course. Why else? You don't understand nothing. Get out of here. You have an interesting apartment. Yeah. Original paintings? Are you into art? Gifts from patients. Not bad. And you? I'll refrain. I have an important meeting. What did you want to talk about? Your mother. She is very lonely. You know, she has been going towards that all of her life. Yes? Perfect. I'll be there soon. I gotta run. Do you need a ride? No, thanks. I'm okay. I hope we will get a chance to talk about your mother and not only that. And the little prince went back to meet the fox. Goodbye, he said. Goodbye, said the fox. And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. The little prince repeated, so that he would be sure to remember. It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. It is the time I have wasted for my rose, said the little prince, so that he would be sure to remember. Men have forgotten this truth, said the fox. But you must not forget it. You become responsible forever for that you have tempted. This is unexpected. Левушка. Левушка, I'm sorry. I spent half a day at the police station yesterday. My car and my purse were stolen. It was all the money and my phone in it. Now I'm here, and I'll be with you until you get better. You promised me yesterday and didn't come. I did come. It's just, you were with your mom, and I didn't want to bother you. See how much stuff. I'm not even gonna go home for a couple of days, so I can be with you. Sofia Palma, what are you doing here? Well, Vadim has a meeting with Emilia today, so I decided to spend my evening like that. Levushka's mom went to get these things, and we are here reading The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint. Exupéry. Good boy. Sofia Palna, is someone waiting for you at home? Does it matter? It does. I perfectly understand everything, and I'm not mad at you. What do you know about loneliness? I know absolutely everything about loneliness. Coffee. Please. I'll be right back.
The coffee is so bad here. You know, if they put Italian coffee machine here, the price will be completely through the roof. You know, Zhenya, your lover reminds me of our Kirusha very much. You can't even imagine how much I miss him. Loving your grandkids isn't the same as loving your children. It's more conscious, less egoistic. I would give up anything for him to live. Everything okay, Mom? Yes. Zhenya, come on, we need to talk. You go, Zhenya. I'll stay with Lova. Zhenya? Zhenya, are you home? Mom, what did you say to Zhenya? She ran away. What the hell? Bring her back now. What the hell are you talking about? What man? Artemy, meet Evgenia. Evgenia is a close friend of the boy's mom. You can discuss everything with her. Hello, I've looked through your documents and I absolutely agree with Vadim. The boy urgently needs surgery. What are his chances? Whatever the chances, he needs to have a surgery. There are no options. The surgery is scheduled for the morning. But I don't have the money. It's okay, I'll put my money in. We'll deal with it later. I gotta go. I'll be at the clinic at 7. Vadim will tell you about the surgery himself. Bye. Bye. I know about Stanislav. If you're going to marry him, then why did you stay? It's over. I left him. If you have nowhere to go, then stay at my place. It's cold in here. No fever. It's your nerves. Lay down. Come on. I love you.
You don't pick up, Mom. Fine. You've been controlling me my whole life. Everything must go the way you want it. But I don't want to. I don't want to live anymore. You got that? Goodbye. Men without heart. I overslept. Tell me where is Lyova. He is not in his room. He is in the OR. Vadim Nikolaevich asked me to give you this. Where is the OR? On the second floor. But you can't go in there. How long has he been there? Three hours now. Is that bad, right? Is that very bad, right? Cut it out. He needs our support, not his Turks. Our support? What do you even know about it? What is it to you? Your life won't change at all if he doesn't come out of that OR. It is my word that would shatter. Mine, you hear? Oh, God. Where are we to lead? Oh, God. What's happened to someone not well? Yes, give her some sedatives. No, 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 I'm okay, please. There's no need. Mommy, I've been working with children for 20 years, and I know how they feel their mothers. Come on, I'll give you a shot, and you'll come back here, and you'll feel better, and your child will too. My boy, my boy, open your eyes. Please open your eyes, sweetie. I'm begging you. Ambulance to four, Juvelirne Street, section two, floor seven. Presumably suicide attempt. The person is still alive. Is that Hotkevich? Don't you dare tell someone. You lose your job the same way, my sweetheart. We need to put him to the site. Okay. Where is the ambulance? How's my son? Son? Your son is fine, Evgenia. Vadim! Lova now has two birthdays. It was a very difficult operation. Two cardiac arrests. If it wasn't for Vadim... Lev will be under the supervision of doctors until evening. He must be under supervision for at least four hours. If he did take the pills himself, he needs consultation with a psychiatrist. My God. Can we do without the hospital? I will bring any medication. I'll pay any money. Try helping him here. Overall, his condition is not critical, but there's no guarantee that he won't swallow pills again. According to the rules, I have to take him to the hospital. I will compensate you for breaking the rules and see that he doesn't take anything else. But you will be saving him in this apartment. Get the magnesium sulfate solution ready. Lova. Everything is fine. Lova is under the supervision of doctors for now, but everything will be okay. Thank you. Thank you for saving my son. We won't bother you anymore. But I really want to help him. He's gonna need re-examination, recovery. I can do all that. Leave. Leave and mind your own life. I don't have my own life anymore. Our life will never be yours. Leave.
You can't go in there. Important meeting. When can I go there? I don't know. I see. Thanks. Give me the bill for a left a million surgery, please. Женя, missed call. Are you feeling all right? Maybe we should check your blood pressure? No, thanks. Here you go. Would you give this to his mother? I'll pay myself. Hi, Amelia. Would you like to continue our conversation? Vadim, call me back, please. We really need to talk. Boss. Yes, boss. Look, I'm sorry. I can't deal with you right now. What journalist at the office? What do you mean, missing? He didn't come to the press conference? You bitch. Don't ever call here. You got that? My son almost died because of you. You know, Sofia Pavlovna never managed to reach your father, but she's terribly worried. Are you in touch with him? How is he? You know, Amelia, caring for an elderly person is very sweet of you. I prefer to discuss my father with my mother personally. She says you don't have time for her? Katinka, bring me another one and the bill. Should I take you home? No, thanks. I'm not a child. I'll manage. Thanks. You know, female company annoys me lately. It's easier alone. Vadim, what is going on? Nothing's going on. It's just... That everybody lies. Vadim, you can't drive in this condition, you hear? What are you doing here? Sweetie, this is taking too long. How long do I have to wait? Soon, he is on the hook. What a bitch you are. You have some nerve coming in here. My son almost died because of you. I need to talk to him. Get out of here. Or I'll tell the journalist the whole truth about you. Knock yourself out. I've got something to say about you as well. Had you minded your own business, nothing would have happened. Get out. And don't ever come here again. I will notify the security. I live here, by the way. My son lives here. And you're a temporary hanger-on, who can be replaced if desired. Alinochka, good thing you are here. So that's what that is. You should say that you have your own fiancé for your son. How was he? What happened? Come on, I'll tell you everything. Thank God the ambulance got here fast. And this one's done. He doesn't want to see her anymore. Clean up here and cook some rice. What do you mean, cook rice? Yeah. 
I'll be staying here for two days. Can I pay for the second day tomorrow? Of course, whatever way you see fit. Can I have some tea in my room? Yes, of course. Would you like anything else with the tea? No, thanks. Is everything okay with you? Mm -hmm. Never better. The doctor said that you can go back to training tomorrow. And today you need to make the post a video on the internet and convincingly lie why you weren't at the press conference. I'm not going to training. Why not? And I'm not gonna post anything before I can talk to Zhenya. Son, if Zhenya loved you, she wouldn't have left you and had an affair ahead of the wedding. Why do you need this two-faced woman? Mom, Zhenya couldn't lie to me. It was you who set it up, right? Admit it, you have never liked her. I have to talk to her myself. And until then, I won't move an inch. Fine. If you want Zhenya, you will have Zhenya. Where are you? We need to talk. Don't come home. Mom is here. Millennium Hotel, room 36. Alina, honey, we are leaving. But I haven't cooked the rice yet. The cook is coming. She'll cook. Hi, I want to know about Lev Tamilian's condition. Without changes. Thanks. And where is Stanislav? He was supposed to come. I thought you were smarter. It was me who texted you. Stanislav wants you back. Do I look like a kitten to you? You throw me out, then you want me back. Something like that. Then let Stanislav call me himself and tell me that, and we'll resolve everything ourselves. I know you don't believe me, but I really did love your son. Did you? Yes. And I still respect him. No, leave. Give orders to your help, not me. Vadim? Good afternoon. Is Vadim home? No, it's not the best time. Vadim is asleep. Any message for him? No. How is Stanislav? Tell him we are rooting for him.
Tell me what happened. A misunderstanding. I mixed up the pills. I took the boy's medication instead of vitamins. You're kidding me. No, you're kidding me. Who's that? Why are you getting in his car? That's cardiac surgeon Vadim Safronov. He operated my son. Lova is my son. What? Zhenya. I don't understand. Did you hide your kid? It's a long story. I had to give him away right after childbirth. But now he is back in my life. And I hid it from you because I didn't know how you would take it. Zhenichka, how could I have taken it? I love kids, you know. And I want us to have plenty. We'll help yours too. It's so easy with you. Why not? Why make it harder? Is the kid okay? Zhenya, mm -hmm. we need to get married as soon as possible, just like you wanted. Cinderella Castle, and for us to be in the spotlight, so that everybody writes about us. And not only here, but in England as well. Zhenya, do you hear me? We need to hush up this thing today. Yes. Wedding, a lot of attention, your career. Yeah, mom's right, by the way. I hear you loud and clear. Mom's right. We need to come into the spotlight before the journalists. Yeah, so that this poisoning news turns out to be fake. Everyone's getting together today. Look up the address on the invitation, okay? Make us something to eat. I'm starving. Hey, I'll see you later. Stanislav, what were you thinking? Your mother says you got poisoned. The journalists say that you threw yourself out of a window. Do you understand that you can derail your transfer? Years of your work and mine down the train. Look, nothing bad happened. I just had food poisoning. That's it. Happens to everyone. Fine, whatever. Is the wedding day set? Yes, we're having the wedding in France, by the way. Jenny wanted a castle. She'll have a castle. In France? Yes. You're a genius, my boy. That's right. You should show yourself to the French as well. We'll fly in the whole team. I'll go as well. I'm really counting on you. Oh, you need to ask the doctor's permission. By the way, there he is. Good evening, Vadim Nikolaevich. Hi. I'd like to introduce you to our star, Stanislav Khotkevich. And this is his fiancé, Zhenichka. By the way, they've decided to get married in France. Will you let me go? Of course I will. I'd go too, but I don't have time. A bit boring here, right? Shall we go to my place? Bye. Have a nice evening. I'll be right back. Zhenya, why are you so sad? Can we have champagne, please? Bank deposit. What's wrong, Jenny? Here, have a drink. Listen, I'm not feeling well. I think I'd better go home. Jenny. Jenny. Stanislav. Stanislav. A minute. I have to introduce you to this important person. What are you doing here? You can't go in here. He was just transferred from the ICU. I won't take long. Here, take it. There's $25,000. Take Lova to Maldives or Disneyland. Whatever you want. That is so you, right? Taking a child after surgery to Maldives? Are you serious? Take your money. We don't need your charity. I ask you to mind your personal life and leave us alone. I hear you. 
I want to go to Maldives. I saw on the internet that you can go diving and watch fish there. Lyoba, now isn't the time for what you want. You must sleep. Mom's right. Sleep and get well. I've missed you. I've missed you too. A lot. But right now you need to be a good sport and go to sleep. Will you come visit me again? Of course I will. But you get better. Why did you promise him that? I hope you won't be coming here every day. Don't worry, I won't bother you anymore. I promised him because I wanted him to go to sleep. At the same time, you can tell him how bad I am, unlike you. Tell me, is there coffee in this house? I'll make you some. I'm waiting. Whoa. Move. And no funny business, or I'll shoot either one of you. Take the chair. Put it in the middle. Tie her up. Look, man, don't be stupid. What do you want? Shut up and do what you're told. If it's money, then I'll give you some and we'll go our separate ways. They told me the club would cover everything. They would rent me a house, move my stuff, so... Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? You should be in bed. There's no time to stay in bed. I gotta go to England. So you are leaving? Yep. By yourself? No. With Jenka. So you made up? I... We'll miss you a lot. Come on, you're not leaving yet, are you? Actually, I've stopped by for a second. But if you want, I could stay. Do stay. Jenka left anyway, and I'm here alone like an idiot. What are you having? Whatever you are having. One for her. Where's the safe? In the bedroom wardroom. Try to open it. Be careful with it. Good evening. You bitch! Yeah, I need an ambulance. We have a gunshot wound and blunt force trauma. Trechprudny Lane, Building 4, Apartment 25. Are you done? Take him away. You bitch! Arrest her! She wanted to shoot me! No need to yell. Okay, lady, now you. 
How did the burglar get into the apartment? Did you forget to lock the door? Of course I didn't forget to lock the door. I don't know how he got here. He pointed the gun at Vadim in the hall, made him tie me up, when he knocked him out. She is lying. She is his accomplice. She's opened the door, she let him in, she told him where everything was. She is the one lying. She is taking revenge on me. Vadim left her for me. Easy, ladies. This is how it's gonna be. We all go to the station and then we'll figure out who's who. I need to change. Be quick. Is he gonna be okay? The blood loss is insignificant, but the blow was strong. We need to do an MRI and X-ray. Come on. Rinka doesn't pick up. She's probably asleep. Do you need to go home? How about I take you home in my new car? It's a great idea. How's the ride, by the way? It's awesome. You know, we should put your picture on it saying, Hatkevich choice. Awesome. <laughs> so that they stop honking because I drive so slow in such a car. Are you slow as a turtle? Worse, I'm slow as a snail. <laughs> hey, do you have kids? What do you mean? No, I don't have any kids. Don't worry, I'm just asking. Evgenia Alexandrovna, we're gonna have to keep you for a little longer. Have you gone mad? I've been here the whole night. Deal with the criminals, please. I've got nothing to do with that. You see? So far, it's your word against Emilia Kolobova's word. She's a famous person's daughter. She has never been involved in any criminal activity, and there is a criminal case against you, manslaughter also, from a firearm. What is this? What the hell is going on here? Hello, sweetie. Hi. Zhenya, how are you? I had to call General Shevchenko himself to find out where she was taken to. Let her go now. Lady, who are you? I'll say. Ladies are at the cabaret. I'm an opera diva, you know? Sofia Pavlovna Polonska. What do you even know about it? I have a statement from my son, Safronom Vadim Nikolaevich. There. She is innocent. On the contrary, she saved him. The doctors told me that if it wasn't for you, I can't even think about that. Congratulations. There is it. General Shevchenko himself. For you. Yes? Greetings, General, sir. Chief Inspector Perbinos. There are no problems. We're just figuring out the facts of the case. Yes, sir, General, sir. Evgenia Alexandrovna. We will call you to testify as a witness at a convenient time for you. We will figure this out. The perpetrators will be punished, so uh, don't you worry. Sofia Palna, thank you very much for your help. Zhenichka. Come see Vadim with me. He asked for you. I want to apologize to you. I was very wrong about you. You weren't wrong. Tell Vadim I said hi. Bye. Yes, Vera. What's wrong with him? He is crying on stop because of you. Why do you give him false promises? He was waiting for you and you didn't come. No, it's not because of me. It's because of you. You throw me out of his life. 
Talk to him and stop this immediately. I'm begging you, please. And how do you imagine that? I don't know. Think of something. You're a grown woman. Lie to him after all. Tell him you're leaving. And I'm abandoning him again. I want to be with you, always. Sweetie, do you understand that that's impossible? But why? You don't want that. I do, very much. Is Lova allowed to go out? Yes, but no more than an hour and on the wheelchair. We need to go to a place. Are you crazy? It will be better for all of us. Fine. Genia, could you bring me some water, please? Would you like a cold one? What are you doing here? You don't remember anything. Shit. Where's Genia? I don't know where your Genia is. She never came to get you yesterday. I brought you home. Walt you to your apartment and... I'm sorry, I don't know what got into me yesterday. Get dressed, quick. Genia could be here any minute. Where's my kid? Where did you bring the child? Wait for us here, please. Mom, please. Take the umbrella. It's starting to rain. Tumanov Dmitry Alexandrovich. Why did we come here? This is your father. Did he die? Yes. I killed him. Why? Was he bad? No, he was very nice. We grew up at an orphanage together. We dreamed of getting married and having a bunch of children. Give them everything. We started doing sports, bullseye shooting. Dima dreamt of being an Olympic champion. And he would have been. What happened? An accident. We were fooling around. And I shot him. I didn't know his gun was loaded. And that's why he died? Yes. I was 16 and I was pregnant with you. What happened next? I was taken away. Tried. I gave birth to you at a prison hospital. They made me give you away. I didn't know what would happen to me next. Under different circumstances, I would never give you away. Really? Of course. All this time I lived without a part of me. Now you appeared, and it all came together. You are a part of me. I love you very much. I love you too, Mom. 
So can you take me back now? No. Mom is the one who raised you. Vera is your mom. It's not right to appear out of nowhere and take you away. It's cruel. Can we see each other? No. I have no right to invade your lives. Is it that footballer of yours who doesn't want me? I don't care what the footballer of mine wants. It's just that you're not a toy, you know? No, I don't. Take me back to the hospital. Lova, wait. The wheelchair. I hope you'll manage to convince him that father meetings are impossible. Mom, let's go. Lova, Lova, oh God, help, someone help, Court 55. Женя? Finally. Женя, what happened this time? Huh? I'm hungry, you know. The food's in the fridge. Женя, what's going on? Look at me. You don't sleep at home? You forget about me? What's the big deal? Not as big as yours. Why are you giving me your stuff? Because it's not mine. You see, Stas, family is not a one-way street. I always want to be taken care of. Zhenya, I promise, I'll do better. I'll be more thoughtful. We'll go to England and start a new life. We are not going anywhere. Zhenya. It's my mom's scarf. So, what do we have here? Everything's okay in general. The blood pressure is a little low, heart palpitations. Bed rest has been interrupted. Yikes. Zhenya took him for a walk and he got overexcited. Leave us for a couple of minutes, please. Sure. Well, Lev, tell me what happened. Mom, I mean, Zhenya, took me to a cemetery. Okay. What for? To show me my dad's grave. Now tell me everything in more detail. Alina, hi. It's been a while. What brings you here? What do you want? I forgot my scarf. See, honey, it's not your mom's scarf after all. Zhenya. <laughs> 
Oh, a substitute player. Maybe I should bring her up to speed? Tell her what to feed you, what detergent to wash with, and how to iron your shoelaces? Jane, come on, it's just a misunderstanding. And there is a maid for shoelaces. No, honey. The maid shouldn't deal with food and clothing. All by yourself. Женя, listen. Yes? Женя. God damn it. I thought we were fine. And there's this scandal with the wedding, before the transfer. I could back you up if you want. What do you mean? The main thing for you is a high-profile event. And does it really matter who the bride is? It does to me. Not so much to the public. Yes. I see. Wait. Would you really do this for me? I would do anything for you. Hey. How about we try this? Looks fine, I think. What's wrong with him? Shush. Complications. Is it because of the trip? Sweetie. I'm sorry. I had to tell you. He's fine. I examined him. I had a serious talk with his mom and asked her to exclude any emotional shocks. Now I'm talking to you as his doctor. You should see him as much as possible. Vera agreed to these meetings. Really? Thank you. So, are we good? We are good. I also want to be a part of these meetings, and not only as a doctor. Call your mom. I think I know what she feels. Mom? Mom, where are you? Right. Mom? Mom, what's wrong? Are you feeling all right? No? What's wrong? Your father and I got divorced. He packed his things and... left. Mom. And now... I'm all alone. Mom. You are a grown-up. You have your own life, and I... Mom. Nobody needs me. See how pretty I was. You're very pretty now, too. It's all in the past. We really need you. You have us, Mom. I'm sorry I was a bad son, and I only thought about myself. I understand, son. Besides, I also wasn't the best mother for you. Well, you know, not everyone has the honor to have a legend as their mom. <laughs> yeah, I could see an F. F6, I remember. Mom, Lova has been discharged. Yeah? Yes. Thank goodness. And? Женя and I want to celebrate this, have a little picnic, and we'd be happy if you joined us. Join you? Tell her to bring her to our house immediately. Children's Lather has not been here in this house for a long time. Don't just sit here, call her. I have to freshen up and arrange for a dinner to be prepared. Call her right now. I'm calling her. Call her. Oksana Dmitrievna, follow me. We have a lot of work to do. Mom, I'll have tiramisu. Oksana, Oksana Dmitrievna, hurry up. The guests will be here soon. The dessert isn't ready. Sorry. Mom? Mom? What? There's no need for that. 
The dessert is served at the end anyway. No, everything should be perfect today. Beautiful. And if he hasn't learned to work by now, then I'll teach her. Hi. Look who's here. My dear boy. Is it me or have you grown? What a nice kite. Thanks for bringing him to us, Jenya. Shall we fly it? Yes.